In this video I'll be showing you how you can customize and edit any MIDI file you happen to come across. You can change the instrument of the MIDI files, delete tracks, add tracks, and totally customize anything, everything you want about the file. So the first thing you need to do is download Mixcraft 4, uh, 5. That's the program that we're going to use to edit MIDI files. Now if you don't know how to get this program, go ahead and look in the description under how to get Mi Mixcraft 4 for free. It's free. Alright, watch that video and download it, then um, come back to this video. So after you download it, it, um, it should look like this, and you want to now import a MIDI file. Now, I'll be showing you a song called Resistance by Muse. It's a fairly new song. So once you have a MIDI file, go ahead and drag it into, like I just did, into the program. Alright, now you can see all these are all the tracks. You can... um zoom in and out by scrolling the uh, play alright so start from the beginning and click play and I'll start playing you can see the individual like notes that I'll play right here now if you want to change the instrument say you don't want this instrument you don't want to you don't want it to be like this well click this little icon right here and it'll give you a list of instruments. There's a hundreds and hundreds of instruments. And I say I, I don't want it from, to be a pad. I want it to be a, a piano sound. Well, maybe I want it to be a honky tonky piano. We'll click, click it and click close. And now it'll play a honky tonky. See? It changed the instrument. And maybe you think it's too loud. Well, you can pa um, make it louder or. See, it, it varies. If you want to just hear that part, just that this instrument, you can solo it. And there's hundreds of instruments you can choose from. You can even pan and reverb and all these different things you can do with it. So, but um, we don't want to do that. Right so, there's... Hear all the instruments I'll play, and um, there's another thing you can do. So let's fast forward a little in the song. You can see it. You can see when it plays. These are notes. Say you want to edit the notes. Well, double click on it, and it'll take you to individual piano notes I'll play. See right here. You can actually edit these by just clicking and dragging them, and it'll change the note of the piano. See, so if I like, start clicking and everything, and then click play, when it gets to here, it sounds weird a little. And another thing you can do, which I really like about this program, is you can transpose songs into any key you want. And to do that, all you have to do is um. Select all the tracks and double click on them. And you see right now, this song, the first note plays on, see, what is that? G. And all you have to, no, it's not G, um, it's, uh, where is it? C. All you just press Control A, or click here, and then click Control A, and then select everything. And you can move these into any key you want, and it'll change the key. You can transpose music. Say you download a MIDI file and it's, and it's the key of C, but you want to play in B flat. All you have to do is change this and move it to B flat, and do that for all the tracks. And it'll transpose music, which I which I really like. So, um, again, I, I really like this. And there's more you can do, and you can um, change the tempo. Say it's going too slow. Well, you can um, change from 120 to like what, 230 or whatever. Now click play. That's too fast. Well, where's 120? And you can even metronome and signature. And here's a here's a key. You can also do this if you wanna change the keys. And again, you can change instruments as you want.
like say you don't want this guitar, like you don't you don't want it. Um, we'll click solo to make sure that's the correct one. Well, I'll change the instrument to uh, let's see, what is there? Let's change it to crystal. See how it sounds. Hmm. Well, I don't like that, but I'm not gonna go into that right now. Now you may, you may be thinking this takes up too much space. You can't really see that track too well. We'll click unlock, and I'll put it into a new window, and you can work with it better like this. Now, say you want to add your own track. Well, come right here, and um, go from the, like from the beginning, or say from the beginning, from right here, and. And you can actually play play along with it and make your own track. So stay on, just click record, and from your keyboard, you can play and I'll and I'll play. Click record and start playing. You can see it. Well, you can't hear it right now. And I'll start to play the tracks you play. And I'll add them into the tracks you had before, previous. You can move it around. And say you made a mistake. Well, you can actually double click it again. As I said. T double click this track. And, um, and I'll show you the notes you just made right now. Which is pretty cool, I think. So that's for, uh, all, all what you need to know about making mixing tracks. And... MIDI's and you save this MIDI. All you do is go right here, save as MIDI file. Or save as MIDI file and save it. And you can import it into Synthesia or publish it, convert it to an MP3, and, and there's lots of things you can, lots of things you can do with this. There are many other features from Mixcraft. You can like um, split. You can split the tracks if you don't want a certain place. There's all these. There's metronomes. There's you can add in your own effects, import uh, sounds, track color, images, freeze track. There's silence, reduce, boost, fade in. There's EQs. Add you can add videos. There's so much to do with this program. There's not enough time to do this again. Well, thanks for watching.